everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica and on today's video I'm going to be doing a review of a foundation. So I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do stuff like this and since I haven't used a lot of different foundations, I thought it might be helpful for me and maybe for you if you're watching this um, to see what some of these different foundations do on like maybe a little bit like middle aged skin because my I said before I'm 38 so uh, I'm not in my 20s anymore but I'm not also mature skin either so I'm kind of in that in between stage and um, a lot of the videos that I've seen are like foundation reviews for uh, mature skin versus foundation for like younger folks under 30 so um, I don't know if this will be helpful for you if it is leave me a comment down below hit that like button so I know and if you'd like to be in your aren't already hit that red subscribe button so today what the foundation I'm going to be using is the number seven lift and illuminate foundation okay and I got this at my local Target store I also know that you can get this in um, Ulta, I've seen it in Ulta, uh, but first, before I start applying this, I'm going to use my primer. I have the Too Faced uh, Primed and Poreless Pure. This is just the oil-free version of the product. Uh, so this, this primer is just um, oil-free versus the regular Primed and Poreless. So I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to prime my skin. Now that I have my primer on, I'm going to go in with my primer. So I'm going to use uh, two different ways to, to um, apply this to my face. I'm going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, and I'm going to use probably a combination of my two foundation brushes I have here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the uh, brushes on my left side of my face and the um, Real Techniques sponge on the right side of my face. So I'm going to go ahead and go in first with the brush. I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush here. All right, so there's actually a good bit in just one pump there. And I'm going to just blot this all over this side of this face. That's probably way too much just for one side of my face, but we'll get we'll get it worked out. So And this is in the lightest color that I could find which was Cool Vanilla. I'm trying to remember if it had a number on it. I don't think so. Uh, it was just uh, cool, cool Vanilla is the color. Now, I have had troubles with this brush before that sometimes it does soak the product right in. So although it feels nice, this is not an Artiste brush. This is uh, an imitation brush. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit more of that foundation and put it on my skin. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. The pumper on this is a little weird. It gets kind of like squirty, I don't know. But I'm gonna go in with my uh, IT brushes for Ulta. This is my um, Airbrush Smoothing Foundation number 102. And I'm gonna put some more on this side just because, like I said, that other brush sometimes doesn't, doesn't work as well. Now this is definitely not a full coverage, at least from what I can tell. Just looking at my face, this is not a full coverage foundation. I'm still seeing some redness coming through here. I don't know if the camera is able to pick that up. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with on the right side of my face with my Real Techniques sponge. Again, I'm just going to put one pump on the back of my hand and go in and see how this does with the sponge. I think I need a little bit more. This is just a really light weight foundation. I'm hoping it stays that way. A lot of the liquid foundations that I've tried um, end up being like really itchy within just a couple of hours of putting them on. And I really don't like that. Some I've had better luck with than others. Now I do think this color is a little bit off for me. I mean it's not bad. I don't know if the lighting in here and the camera is picking it up very well, but I do have still getting a little bit of redness coming through on my cheeks. Not too, too bad. Um, it covered up most of the redness in my nose. And it's not too far off. So I have it all blended on my skin. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what it looks like. 
so I don't know if you can see, you can still see some of my acne scars here. Um, the redness is pretty much covered. Unfortunately, I've got a little bit of a shadow. I'm trying to work on different things with my lighting to see if I can get it to work right, but um, I'm still getting a little bit of redness in my cheeks. Not too bad. It has sort of evened it out, though. And looking now in the mirror as it's sat on my skin for just a couple of minutes, I feel like it is doing a little bit better color-wise. It's still a little bit dark, but this is the um, lightest color that they had in this foundation. Uh, so uh, that's what I'm working with. So it's not too bad color-wise. Um, I think the longer it sits, the more I'm liking it. I'm looking in my mirror over here. Uh, so the color, it's not too, too bad. It does seem to be very light coverage, maybe medium. I tried to build it up a little bit and it just really wasn't building very well. But again, that could be user error. Uh, I definitely don't, I'm not an expert on putting on foundation in the slightest. So overall, it's not too bad. Um, I am still seeing a lot of my acne scarring, which I haven't yet found a primer and foundation that does cover my acne scars, um, but it's not too bad. You can see it on the side here and right in here. Um, but overall, uh, this foundation is not too bad. It wasn't horrible to put on. Um, it is a drugstore brand. So overall, it's not too bad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a check-in. It is uh, 12.59 right now. So just about one o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and put more makeup on and then I'm gonna go about my day. I will check in um, probably every four hours, so about five o'clock and then probably around nine o'clock. So I'll have a full eight hour wear with this. Um, I don't think it has any claims on it, at least not on the package um, for hours of wear. Um, I'll look on the website and I'll let you know later on today uh, what if there are any claims there, but um, overall it's not doing too bad. I mean, it's definitely, you can definitely still see my lines. It's not something amazing, but I think for maybe an everyday wearer, it's not too bad. Um, this is supposed to firm and even skin. I, I don't feel like it's doing that very much, but we'll see as the day goes on. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go about my day. I'm going to throw on some more makeup. Okay, so I'm done with the rest of my face, and um, it is, right now, it is 146. Yes, it takes me forever to do my makeup. It just does. Um, so it's been about an hour since I've had this on, about 45 minutes since I've had this on. And honestly, I'm not very impressed so far. It is very itchy on my skin. I've been itching, especially right down here underneath my nose. So a lot of that's been scratched off. Um, I think it played well with everything else. I did put powder on because it was getting very, it was very sticky. So as I was putting the other makeup on, I decided to go ahead and put powder on. Um, but overall, like I'll show you here, like right in here around my nose. I mean, I've only had this on for 45 minutes and it is cracking already, especially like right in here. Uh, it's starting to crack up. So I'm not real sure about this foundation. I mean, on other areas, like underneath my, my contour and my blush, that looks okay. Even on my forehead, it looks okay. I mean, it's, 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 I don't know. It's settling very much into my fine lines. I know I saw some other YouTubers say that they really like this foundation and maybe I just didn't put it on right. I don't know much about foundation, but I'm going to check in. Like I said, it's already 145. I'm 45 minutes in. I will check in around 5 o'clock and let you know what I think. So we'll see you then. Bye. All right, so this is my 5 o'clock check-in. It is right about 5 o'clock. Um, I'm in the car in a parking lot right now. Um, John is, is in the store buying some stuff for a video we're going to film tomorrow for my other channel. But um, this is what it's looking like right now. I'm not real happy with how it's holding up. Um, around my nose, I did blow my nose once, so that's wiped away, and that, that's fine. Um, when I did switch shirts, and I got a lot of foundation on the inside of my shirt, but my really big concern is just up here on my forehead. Um, it's really settled into all of my fine lines on my forehead. I don't have a lot of deep lines on my forehead, but it's definitely like settled in for the day up here. Um, it's also not holding up really well on my cheeks. It's definitely moved into more like a light coverage. Um, it's not too bad around my nose, although it was earlier. Uh, 
I'm filming this on my cell phone since we're out running around. Um, so I can't really see real well because I do have the sunroof open so the sun can come in so you can see it in, in natural light. Um, but yeah, I'm not, not real excited about how it's looking right now. Uh, it's not horrible, but it's not like great either. Um, I don't know, definitely turned into a light coverage. It's also oxidized on my skin. You can look down here, you can see that my neck is definitely significantly lighter than my face. And this is the lightest color that they make, which is, uh, I think it was called Cool Vanilla. So yeah, I'm just not like super happy with it at this point. Um, but I'm filming in my car because it's windy outside and my son said it was too windy on my first take on this. So I don't know, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, after four hours, like I said, I'm just not not super happy with the way it looks right now, but it's not horrible either. Um, I don't want to like rip it off the skin. Um, I am getting some itchiness still underneath my nose here, and then on top of my nose I'm getting some itchiness. Uh, other than that, I'm okay. Um, I'm not really getting itchiness anywhere else. But yeah, overall, it's alright, but it's not the best foundation that I've used. So we will check in again at 9 o'clock. So see you then. It is time for my final check-in of the evening. It is about 9.11 p.m. 9.12 and I'm not sure that I'm really liking this foundation very much. Um, I've had it on for a little bit over eight hours. Uh, honestly at this point I look very shiny here on here and my nose is very shiny. Um, my forehead it doesn't even look like I have foundation on my forehead. It's all in all my lines, everything. And it's actually a little bit, well, not too greasy. My chin looks very shiny down here. Uh, my lipstick's gone, but that's just because I ate recently and I haven't touched it up. But all in all, like my eye makeup is still there, but this foundation, it just looks very dewy, very shiny. Um, that could be the foundation, that could be the primer that I used, I'm not sure. I did use a setting spray, but I did put powder on. Now, I haven't put anything on since 1 o'clock when I got done with my makeup, or 1.30, 1.45, whatever it was. Then I got done with my makeup, I haven't added anything else onto this. Um, but all in all, I just feel like I'm a little bit shiny. And this is definitely a light coverage foundation. I don't feel like it's medium or full coverage. Now, this is really nice because it's lightweight on the skin though. But you can see, I mean, I'm looking in my viewfinder and I just look very shiny all in here. Uh, my chin looks very, very shiny. Um, yeah. This would be nice for like a day-to-day -day wear, I guess. But I'm just not real happy with it because it really got into my fine lines on my forehead. And normally those lines aren't very evident to me. And I just look very shiny. I mean, I'm ready to get this off my skin. It, it hasn't been too bad. It's not been very heavy. Uh, I did get a little bit itchy this evening where I was itching different spots um, on my face. And it was just coming right off on my fingernails. But again, that was me itching. I guess my biggest complaint for this foundation is that it settled right into my fine lines even though I did have primer on and then the coloring I mean I pointed this out at my five o'clock update but the color on this is very dark compared to my natural color um, and th this is the lightest color that they they sell so I will probably continue to wear this foundation just for just because I, I bought it um, and I will just wear it around every once in a while. But, like, I have a scar here on my lip. I don't, I'm sure you can see that. Um, where I've had, like, this, this diagonal scar on my lip since I was a little kid. This uh, horizontal or vertical scar I got when I tried to remove a mole, but the mole came back. Um, but, like, this scar is very, very evident. And, I mean, I've put other foundations on, and it doesn't doesn't show up quite like that. So... I don't know. I'm not super impressed with this foundation. I mean, I'm not overtly experienced with foundation either, but I'm just not really impressed with this foundation, so. It's okay. I mean, it was only like $14 or $15, $12, somewhere in that price range, so it was very inexpensive. Um, I haven't tried a lot of foundations from the drugstore. My sister swears by a um, compact, I forget what brand it is, 
Um, but it's like a creamed powder in a compact. She prefers the, the compacts then to a liquid foundation. Um, and she really likes that. I think it might be a cover girl or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. But, um, yeah, I'm just not real fond of this. I really like the airbrush foundation. I'm going to continue to try different foundations. I have a whole box. So I have a whole box here of different foundations. Um, I mean, it's, it's, I've got a whole bunch of different ones. Um, this does have my concealers in there as well. I did not put concealer on this morning. I totally forgot to do that, but I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of other foundations out there. Uh, I do have a cushion one here from Physicians Formula that I'm going to give a try. Um, I have, I bought some other ones recently that are not yet moved into the little basket here. So, there's lots of other foundations out there. Like I said, I will use this because I bought it, but I probably will not repurchase. So there's my opinion on the number seven Lift and Luminate foundation. This is what it looks like. Um, yeah, I mean, if you if if you if you are a darker skin tone than me, this may work really well for you. But like I said, my biggest complaints about it is just the fact that it went into my fine lines and it's a, it's the wrong color and there are no lighter shades than this one so so I hope you like this video if you did hit that thumbs up button down below uh, write me some comments down below if you if there's any foundations that you'd like me to try that I haven't um, tried already even um, like some of the other ones like my Sephora um, what is this one called this is the airbrush uh, Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. Um, I've not worn this for a full day. I've worn it, I think, maximum like four hours or something like that. So I might put this to the test as well. But I have a bunch of different foundations here that I have not, I just haven't worn them all day. Um, so I'm willing to do a lot more of these. If these are something that you think you'd like, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, hit that red subscribe button so you can see my videos as they become available. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I think that's it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on Epic Beauty Fail. Bye!